Have you ever wondered how you've got that attractive traits? Well, that's all thanks to genetics. From plants to animals and us humans, genetics is involved. Our genetic information is stored in our DNA, and in our DNA, we have our genes. Allele is one variant form of gene. It represents one single trait like this brown eye color and blonde hair color. Mendelian's law in genetics all started with his piece. It led to the study of three laws that we observe among living things. I have a personal observation with my cat. My cat already had two litters, but none of them seemed to copy the traits of my cat, rather the traits of their fathers. You see, my cat is tricolor, mostly white with a tint of black and orange. However, her first litter is like a carbon copy of their dad. From this, we can tell that the father cat has dominant alleles and the mother cat has recessive alleles. The same thing happened with her second litter. Although the father cat is unidentified, we can tell that the father have dominant alleles because neither of the kittens have a black tint in their body. They are only white and orange. Although the P generation have homozygous alleles, the F1 generation will always be heterozygous, and the dominant allele will be the one reflected in their phenotype. This event actually exhibits Mendel's law which is law of dominance, where it is said that when parents with pure contrasting traits cross, only one form of trait will appear in the next generation, like this top motion of gummy worms. We still have two laws, but let's go first with the law of independent assortment. In here, an allele received by a gamete for one gene doesn't influence another allele received by a gamete for another gene. And lastly, law of segregation, where each gamete receives one gene copy and is selected randomly. We can use the Punnett square with this law to determine what the possible offsprings could be. After the F1 generation self-pollinated, this was the result. Genetics is behind all the traits that makes us unique. We all have differences, but that's what makes us beautiful.